are you, are you the guy at the gym that came up to me and said, are you the guy that helped people with pain without touching them? <laughs> yeah, that would be me. And he says, well, I can hardly lift my arm. Stand back. Under one minute, he went from this to this, and he walked away be um, bewildered and forgot to thank me. You're welcome. He did, Johnny. Just he was just dizzy. He was telling us leaving leaving the gym. Yeah. W T F. Hey, if it wasn't you, it could be. Hey, hello everybody. My name is Michael Loche, and I'm here with John every Saturday morning on the Bros uh, Show. We are here to release your negative emotions, hence the title, "Releasing Negative Emotions Show." What does that even mean? We'll find out today. Is it possible that you're not in this? My friend, the guy at the gym wasn't able to lift his arm because he had three baseball emotions trapped here. Yeah, I think so. We want you to have the same experience today. So welcome. This is episode number two, four, three. That's right. There's 242 Saturdays we've been here to help you and teach you about law of attraction, how it works so you can have an experience. Good morning to you, John. Good morning, my name is John Inverarity, uh, chronic pain specialist. Love helping people with this topic. It is uh, you know, how I got into the emotion code and body code. Yeah. And yeah, I live in Vancouver and help people all over the world with various aches and pains and other concerns here. Yeah, so uh, great month here uh, with this topic. Hey, if you're watching live, say hello. Let us know where you're watching from. For sure. Well, John, that's how you and I met years and years ago. I uh, had torn my meniscus muscle and I was limping and I was in so much hip pain and because of my knees and and then someone said try the emotion code so I'm online and I'm looking for emotion code and I live on an island I knew there'd be nobody here I thought I'd have to go to Vancouver I typed in emotion code Vancouver and John's name came up and I was prepared to spend like a six hour car trip back and forth to see him for a half hour and then I find out it's a walk-in clinic that you don't have to walk to we can do it over zoom <laughs> So that's for me too. Mine was physical pain. So yeah. well today is to explain a little bit about the process. You know, we're both certified emotion code practitioners and, and what we do. And we'd love to have you join us today just on the chat. Uh, we'd like to work with somebody first time today because the goal of the show is to give you, give many people an experience of letting John or I become your proxy. And by proxy, I mean we can do this for you. We can do, oops, <clears throat> can do this for you. Okay, Gene is saying, hello, Michael and John. I'm walking with these. When you release the ball of two absorbed emotions lodged in my right hip, I felt an immediate release in that area. Oh, where's it at? I lost it. And when you muscle tested me at the start, I was sitting at about a seven in pain. And John, again, we do a lot of, you know, we measure. So seven out of 10, you can feel that, right? Yeah. You're not playing when it's seven out of 10. And standing up and walking was an eight out of 10, and the stairs was a nine out of 10. John, can you read the rest of that for me? I'd love to hear it. I am. I am walking without pain in my hips now. I'll read that again. I am walking without pain in my hips now. Yes. My knees are better too. Thank you so much. You did all that in what? Two minutes? Oh, stop bragging about me, please. <laughs> oh, no, please go on. No, really, go on. Hey, thank you. Uh, not everybody can do it in two minutes, and John and I are old timers. John's been in the business, what, eight, nine years, John? Ten. Ten, there you go. Coming up ten, yeah. here we go. It's one thing to know how to muscle test, but it's another thing of nowhere how to go with all of our experience. We would love to be your emotion code practitioner. We'll tell you how you can do that at the end of today, but welcome aboard everybody. Now, if you're a regular watcher, next Saturday, John and I have an exciting announcement to announce. Would you say that? To tell you about, so be sure to join us next week. John, we are on our uh, hips and pain and neck and shoulders and fingers and episode this month. Tell our friends, uh, what uh, we need to hear from them for them to receive an emotion code session from you or I uh, go ahead please. Yeah, not much. You have to be watching live though and context of the pain. So, you know, where the pain is and severity as well. So, you know, like yeah. hip pain, severity seven, something like that. Yeah. And that's it. So be watching live and just tell us where the pain is. 
and we'll take it from there. So yeah, we're looking for two volunteers today. Well, good stuff. Hey, again, for those of you that are new to us, John and I have been hosting the uh, this Releasing Negative Emotion, Emotion Code Bro show for 243 episodes. I know it's a lot, right? And we love it. And we have different subjects every week. If you would like to check out all the previous episodes, there's a few ways you can do that. If you want to be on our mailing list, then we'd like to email you Friday to say, here's the subject. And then uh, Saturday morning, like 40 minutes before the show, so you can get your coffee ready and join us. It's pretty easy. We only send you two emails a week just for the announcement. Mm -hmm. You can go to releasingnegativeemotionshow.com live, just like it says there, and uh, sign up. And there's also information about uh, working with John and I. And maybe you just stumbled across us on the podcast or watching and thinking, I love you guys to Reese's Pieces, but I'm not always around live, but I am a podcaster. Whoops. That's the wrong one I want to show you. Where is our podcast? There we go. We have 125,000 downloads of our 242 episodes, and you can add another download to that and enjoy us all the time. So uh, the link to the Apple podcast um, on iTunes went there. It's also, sorry, it's on the right-hand side. It's on Facebook, and it went to YouTube. So there we go. John, tell our friends where they could be watching from today. We've got three places. We are, uh, yeah, live on YouTube, yep. live on LinkedIn. That's somewhat new. Yeah. And uh, yeah, Facebook. Of course. Yeah, we're in Facebook group. So if you're watching from uh, YouTube or Facebook, we can see your comments. If you're on LinkedIn, we'll go to there later. But uh, thank you for joining us. Well, John, let's give a little description about what we're able to do today, and we will attract a, um, a, 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 a participant. Volunteer. We do have one so far here. Jennifer is, uh, is oh, there we go. has some pain. Chatter. Chatter Schwartz. Okay, we'll come back to you, Jennifer. So Jennifer's volunteer. Now, John, you know, in order for you and I to work with anybody, you know, wouldn't it be nice if we could just work with everybody, our neighbors, our family, our friends? But it's like going into their computer without their permission or their or their Wi-Fi. So in order for us to connect to our client's subconscious mind, like Jennifer today, we need to have our permission. permission. And yeah, written permission, permission is like the password, right? It lets us in. Yeah. So John will work with Jennifer here. And what John is going to become her, her proxy. Proxy. So we're practitioners. So we do the work. And I put my energy aside, connect up to Jennifer and muscle test on her behalf. So muscle testing, asking questions, subconscious the questions, yes or no questions, to find out which emotions they are. And we use the emotion code chart. It's right there behind Michael. There's two columns, six rows, well, column A, column B, odd row, even row. There's 60 trapped emotions on the chart. And we narrow it down to one at a time and, and clear it. And you know, a trapped emotion is an unprocessed emotion from a past negative event so it's stuck in your body somewhere so yeah what so what there's emotions in my body so like how do you get rid of it so we take a magnet and we swipe it over the governing meridian looks like this this is my magnet right here it's a refrigerator it's magnet. magnet it's not a special magnet other than it's a real magnet right yeah so it's an intention-based process and we the magnet amplifies our intention to clear out that that trapped emotion so it's it's you know stuck in there and the the process surfaces it and the magnet clears it out or deletes it. So it's yes. gone. Well, good. So John's going to be working with Jennifer and uh, we'll put up her comments in a minute. Now, for those of you that are thinking muscle testing, well, muscle testing is kind of like an agreement that you have with your brain and say, you know what? I want to use the muscles of my fingers to answer questions. And we can't say what's my favorite color because then, but we can say, is it green, red, blue, yellow? Oh, it's purple. In other words, our subconscious mind, we told it when the answer is yes, lock our fingers together, regardless how we muscle test, and then let it go if it's a no. So John and I are skilled at asking hundreds of yes or no questions, most of them silently, right? We would, we would, we would confuse your head if you heard all the questions that we asked, but we really get in there. You know, is this, is this, is this, is it this, is it this, is it this? And then we finally get to the root, 
And John, like John says, big deal, you found it. It's like me fixing your computer. I said, hey, I found the bug in your computer. It's like, well, you're going to fix it, right? You didn't ask me to. You just asked me to find it. Well, it's one thing to know what the feeling is that you're having. It's not enough. It needs to be deleted. And John is going to narrate his emotion code session. I'm going to put Jennifer on the screen here so we can yeah. see. Yeah, so it's neck pain. The severity was a five. Uh, pain and tightness. Is it on like one side or the other, Jennifer, or is it uh, both? Yeah, left or right. So I'll I'll connect up to Jennifer now. So get a good connection. Tune in, Jennifer. Get a good box. Oh, I'll just hold my hands up here so you can see both sides. Jennifer saying so. Tune in, connect up, Jennifer. Connect as a proxy and base of skull. So it is, you know, higher up there too. So yeah, so muscle testing. So Jennifer, there is a, well, let's just check the severity. I'll muscle test it. Is it at least a five? Is it less? No. Is it more? No. So Jennifer, 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 do, I do have a good connection here, proxy, base of skull, neck pain, both sides, severity is a five. Is there a trapped emotion creating this pain, tightness associated with it? We can identify and clear to reduce, eliminate this pain, allow this area to you know, be at ease. Yes, is there, there is a trapped emotion. Is it a odd or even a three or five? So it's a three, crying, discouragement, rejection, sadness. Is it sorrow? Is it, it's an inherited emotion. So I went through the list, God all knows, which means it's not a, you know, the common standard emotions. It means that it's inherited. So it's inherited crying, discouragement, rejection, sadness, sorrow. So inherited sorrow. It is inherited sorrow. Father's side. Sorrow also means regret. So just clear that now. Clearing that. So Jennifer's saying, when I turn to the right and to the left is when I feel the pain tightness. Okay, so release sorrow, release inherited sorrow. Okay, and that's cleared. Good. So there's another trapped emotion associated with this pain, creating this pain discomfort. There is, okay, call A, no. So be odd, no. So we got be even. So it's two, no, four. Yeah, six. No, B4. So is it the first one? Second one? Third? Taken for granted. Yeah. Taken for granted. So it's released taken for granted now. Okay, that's cleared. Okay. Good. Take a sip. John, while you're doing that, Goodwin Moses is saying, I'm feeling shoulders pain. Uh, can you tell me which shoulder? And from one to ten... 10 being it's really sore. What is the severity of your shoulder pain? Good one, Moses. Back to John. Okay, Jennifer, another trapped emotion associated with this pain when you're you know, turning like this. Another trapped emotion is in column A, be odd or even. So it's be odd. So B3. So I'm just going to say the emotions quietly now. Is it confusion? Confusion, it's confusion, releasing confusion. That's released. Yeah. There's another trapped emotion. So be A5. So it's uh, horror, horrified. Something horrific. Release that. It's cleared. And John's the proxy. Yeah. He's using the chart, using the magnet, deleting that emotion for you. Hence the word proxy. So there's another motion here. It is guilt. So clearing guilt. And a few down now here. That's released. Yeah. All right. So pain, tightness, turning like this. There's another trapped emotion. Okay. So column B, odd row, even. B4, B6. It's in B4, which is. Okay, it is, is, there's a prenatal trapped emotion. So prenatal means trapped in the womb when your mother was pregnant with you. You've had it your whole life. Frustration, prenatal frustration. So let's clear this now. Really, so something your mom was going through likely. Releasing the frustration and that's released. Yeah, 
Okay, is that still there? No, that's release. Another trapped emotion associated with this pain, tightness, looking side to side. No. Something else? No, severity one or higher? No. Okay, that might be enough for now. I, I go to zero. So I'll give it a uh, test her out here, Jennifer. See how it goes. <laughs> See how it feels. And let me know. Now there might be another round to go through in a bit. Um, but you should be feeling something, some ease. Yeah. yeah, that was a lot there, right? Prenatal, absorbed, size of baseballs, moving, moving. Mm -hmm. Inherited, I, yeah. I just find it like, you know, there's a bunch of people in the room, yet there's a handful of negative people, right? So we're kicking the negative energy out. And then it takes a few, a while sometimes, just to the party say, okay, all the negative people are gone. Let's spread out and let's get back to the fun again. So it's a process sometimes. She's saying it might be a little bit looser. Yeah. How did she say, how did you know to go prenatal? So I go through the list and my, so I'm testing, is it, you know, is it um, depression, frustration, indecisive panic taken for granted? So that's, you know, the B4. And then I got all no's. And then, so then there's different types of emotions. There's six different, you know, ways you can have these emotions. Yeah. And prenatal is one of them. So then I just, I went through all six in my head and then asked, because inherited did that the same way. It's a, it's a good question. She said, do you feel that intuitively? Mm -hmm. I think it's a mixture, right? It's a mixture of default that it hasn't appeared yet. And then your intuition might say, check for prenatal. So it could be. Yeah, just a little bit of a, yeah, a poke, so to say. Yeah. <laughs> but, it, but there is a little protocol that we go through. And if, you know, it's like, Oh, wow, what's missing? Oh, we forgot to check in this house, or we forgot to check for this. So, yeah, John's just smart, to, to be honest with you. So, there you go. Yeah, I didn't say it out loud. It was, I kind of mumble too when I'm checking all through that. So, it's just easier just to like say what it is and confirm what it is instead of saying each different type because that's actually, so, yeah, confusing for people. <clears throat> yeah, you saw, you know, today it didn't take John very long. We're still going to get some feedback from Jennifer either today or um, maybe before next week. But John, some people, of course, want to work in private and one-on-one -on -one take a longer session. If you were with Jennifer privately, you could ask her way more questions and go to different parts of the body that have nothing to do with her shoulders, but all connected. So <clears throat> tell people, I want to find, tell people what that experience is for you to, um, for people to connect to work with you. Go ahead. Yeah, please. we're here to help uh, for one-on-one -on -one sessions. We both have online scheduling. I'm at aliveandpeer.com. Michael's at michaelosier.com. And we have, yeah, like I said, we have online scheduling. So you can open up the calendar, find it, find a day time that works for you. That's a bit much. And uh, yeah, it links up to PayPal payment. And we send you a Zoom link. And we can have a session over Zoom. So we're looking at each other like this, or, you know, if that doesn't work, phone call. And if you're, you know, just can't find the time too busy to, you know, sit down, uh, you can set email us a list in advance and say, Hey, just work on me remotely email and we'll work on you. And, you know, we'll let you know the session's done. We can send you some session notes as well. And simple as that. That's so a few different options. And again, you could check out our previous episodes and scan through them. It's like going through a menu. It's like, Oh, I'll have that, and I'll have that, and I'll have one of those. John, we were remiss to say hello to our guest today. That's right. Hi. Yeah, we, we sort of just jumped right into it. So let's, let's say hello to some people here. Nate here, from uh, watching from uh, YouTube, says, hi, guys. Uh, hey, Pathology hello. Studios. Yeah, we helped Nate in, early in the year with, some, with uh, you know, Abundance Mindset. Uh, yeah, Sylvia Bellini is here as always. Hello, Sylvia. Greetings from a gray London. At least there's tea. London tea. And of course, uh, you, Nata Natasha. Natasha is joining us. Natasha Paula Samuel. Hello. Uh, just a reminder, uh, Jean gave us a great update since her session last week. So if you're watching, you can check that out. Uh, what else? I, po I posted the link out of the chat to our podcast. I'm just scanning. And Natasha, always helpful. Uh, she gave the link for those of you that want to learn how to muscle test. I have a little training video with a little workbook uh, to teach you how to do it my style or the style that I use. So thank you, Natasha, for putting that out well, up there as well. I'm scrolling, scrolling. 
Jara Sears from Ontario. Hey, Jara, welcome. Okay, good stuff. John, uh, we are, you're going to post an episode um, from our podcast series. Which one did you choose for today? So I'm posting, posting it right now, and it is episode uh, 121. It's on stomach upsets, digestion, bloating, gas. So believe it or not, you get these trapped emotions. They're stuck in your, in your, you know, your stomach, your gut. And it, yeah, it creates a lot of dysfunction there. And we, we've helped people with this concern. It's really, really common to have, you know, that, you know, ache, achy pain. And yeah. um, we've done an episode on that. So I'm going to post the, the podcast here right now. You know, something about that, John, each of the emotions are, uh, they tend to collect around a certain organ. And the, the, the emotions that are usually in the stomach and that kid that all around that area is fear. So when people have experienced fear or they're scared of something, it creates an upset stomach. So, you know, some people say, oh, I'm, so, I'm feeling stress. But out of all these emotions, John, these ones and these, um, these uh, um, trauma ones, there's not one of them called stress. So we don't really call it by its name sometimes. We don't say, oh, I'm feeling so effort and received right now. <laughs> but we use the word to mean that. But our, sub our client subconscious mind knows the exact meaning. And with the emotion code, you got to know it by name to delete it one at a time. So uh, if you're feeling some upset stomach, um, is that fear? And worse, not worse, but not very helpful, did you absorb somebody's fear? John, can you take a minute and kind of talk what, what does that mean to absorb fear? So, yeah, so if someone's, you know, feeling that fear, they're around you, maybe it's at work or at home, something like that. And, uh, you know, you're just, you know, beside them with them. You can actually, like, take on that that fear. So that, that energy that they're radiating out, you know, you take it on, and now you both have it. You've absorbed that. So you can picture, you know, like a wet sponge, a dry sponge. And you just like squeeze the wet sponge over the dry one. Now you've got two wet sponges. You know, you've got, you know, that emotion of fear in, in two, two people now. Yes. Yeah. And, it's, yeah. and they're dense, you know. They're, sometimes people say, oh, something came over me. I'm just so, I've been so angry the last couple of days. And you and I could quickly find out, well, is this somebody else's energy they took on? And unfortunately, that's what happens. Jennifer is saying, Jennifer, is this a question you're asking for yourself or for somebody else? Uh, when, when, uh, when you have a client with pain and they aren't feeling improvement, what do you do? Well, if it's, this is your question, wait more than two minutes. <laughs> and if it's for another uh, person, let us know. Or, yeah. Okay, here's an update from Pixology Studio. Go ahead, John, if you can read that there. Yeah, Pixology Studios. Nate, yes, I feel effect strong last night i approached a gallery owner who's interested in my art and the scarcity is definitely still gone and i was able to get stuff i need money starts to come yes nice so yeah that was, yeah. That was months ago so that you know that scarcity consciousness abundance we worked with nate and you know it's still still holding yeah yeah, let's take a look at this model, John. You know, right now for all of us, you know, this is a faucet. How much water are you allowing? It's not determined by how much water you want because, or available rather. So behind here, there's millions of gallons of water available. So the speed at which you get water isn't determined by how much water there is. It's determined by how much resistance you have in receiving the water, which is the handle. Look, wait for it which is trapped emotions. emotions. Yeah. So with, um, I'm sorry, what's his first name? Nate. Again? Nate, yes, Nate from Pixology. Uh, so Nate, what we did with Nate, um, we, we loosened his resistance by getting rid of his scarcity consciousness. So now the valves weren't as tight, and now he's receiving. And the speed at which you receive anything isn't determined to how much you really, 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 really want it. It's determined by how much resistance you have in receiving it. This is where the work goes, and John and I help you right here. What are the unknown trapped emotions keeping my valve shut tight? Okay, Jeff was saying it's for both of us. Um, well, a longer session, 
right? Definitely a longer session and wait. And if it still doesn't help, then another session. If it still doesn't help, another session. I've never not known there. Yeah, there has been a time when I didn't help somebody, but they didn't finish the process. But every other time I have success. So it's patience. And if the subconscious mind says it's trapped emotions or it's, it's emotion related and it doesn't get corrected that day, it just means there's more to get. Our fingers don't lie. The subconscious mind is brilliant. So just trust that thinking, is this, is, are you sure this is, yes, it's a hundred percent emotions. Did I get them all? No. Okay. So just really trust your muscle testing and get, you know, get the right answer and feel confident there's more work to do or I've done enough. And John, sometimes the subconscious mind says, that's enough for today, please. I'm done. Right. Yeah. Then we'll move on to another subject because we've, we, we've out we've outshone our stay in that area. If I can yeah, that. yeah. I asked Dr. Bradley this um, as as well, right? Oh. Because like you know, getting when we we see him do like demos live, right? It's it's and it's kind of like this, right? Like we see results like quickly, and, and then you get you know one on one with a client, and it's kind of like you're doing like two, three, four sessions, and you're just you know not seeing it. And so I asked him like like what's you know this person like or you giving them example like like how many sessions did that take and it was and it was like it was a few like it was dozens like either one dozen or two dozen for one and then there was another example of someone had like like they broke their back and they just weren't healing and it was like they're working like weekly for like a year or maybe like twice a week for a year and then finally like got to it you know that's a really long example but it was like someone just chronic pain that you know they found something that you yeah. know got into like a broken vertebrae cleared it out and then you know the pain went away so it, it can be it can take a lot of patience not all practitioners know where to go or what direction for yeah example, you know, at different levels i'm going to share a quick story uh i was on clubhouse on the weekend and um, a very seasoned emotion code practitioner came on and I know her from being online and I respect her and so on. And, and uh, you know, it takes a lot of vulnerability to come up and say, listen, I'm an emotion code practitioner and I can't get, I can't fix my hip. She goes, I've tried everything. So, um, so I thought, well, it's always good to have somebody else, right? John, I've asked you to help me with something you've asked me. It, maybe we favor our own answers mm -hmm. or something. Yeah. hundred percent. House and she had two emotions. So these are emotions that she didn't find because when she's testing, she said, is there that there's nothing? And I said, is there two emotions? And she said, yes. And I said, are they on the trauma chart? And it said, yes. And she said, I've checked that already. And then I said, are they absorbed? And she said, and her subconscious mind said, yes. And she said, I didn't check that. Hmm. An absorbed fear is not the same as fear, right? It's like blue and blue green aren't the same, even though they sound similar. So if, and, and again, you, you and I were going through the list. So I checked, is it on the trauma chart? Oh, it is, good, what's the next question? And then normally people would say, is it mine or inherit? Oh, it's not mine, it's not inherited, okay. And then when I said, is it absorbed? Yes, and not only was it absorbed, it took 50 swipes of the magnet to get rid of it. Wow. And in under one minute, identified emotions that a seasoned practitioner didn't couldn't find only because she wasn't asking for absorb. One simple question. Yeah. I'm looking for blue green in the big box of colors. Is there any blue green? No, there's blue and there's blue gray. So blue, you know, it's got to be the exact name. And I cleared it and she was happier than a clam. Yeah. I was really happy. Uh, apparently. <laughs> I've seen that too, yeah. Who decided clowns are happy? So, uh, again, we want to help you out. We are here all month. We are doing this series on uh, helping people. Chronic pain? Jennifer saying, where can we get the trauma chart? The trauma chart is inside of Dr. Brad's Facebook group, and it's under files. It's not ours to give away, but that's where it's available uh, in Dr. Brad's Facebook group. Okay, Jennifer's saying, uh, this person is an MD, so I wonder what the resistance there is. Yeah, I don't know, good question. Yeah, there might be something there. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, I wouldn't hold on to that belief. I've worked with, you know, MDs, doctors, yeah. you know, like people that do lab work and it's, 
they're they're into it. It, re it really helps it helps with yeah. you know some I, different things. Yeah, I'd be remiss to say the response that you're getting from other people's resistance is the vibration you're sending about their expectations about being resistant. Nobody wants to hear that. In other words, the way people the, the response that you're getting from other people is matching the vibration that you're sending about them. So you could, as a practitioner, you could say, what are the trapped emotions that are causing me to hold the expectation that my doctor friend's gonna be resistant? You'll find it and you'll say, and then you won't send the vibration anymore. And if you're not sending the vibration, guess what, Captain Obvious? It cannot be matched. So now you have a new vibration that doesn't include the vibration of rejection. So it would be against the law, the law of attraction, for you to attract resistors. There you go. Hey, lots of fun today, John. Tell our friends uh, about next week, what's going on, how we're going to help people, what they need to do to come back. Next week, yeah, so tag a friend that has chronic pain. And we're we're looking for two more volunteers next week. Uh, aches, pains, uh, neck, shoulders, back, hips, knees, hands, wrists, wherever it is. We're, at, uh, we're yeah, back here, YouTube, Facebook. And uh, yeah, our website is releasingnegativeemotions.com. Forward slash live. Forward slash live. Uh, and then you can find all the previous episodes. You can get a, a direct contact with John and I from there. And most importantly, you can get on our mailing list once uh, twice a week. So you can know what the subjects are, share it with your friends, have a pajama party, bring some people in. Thanks to Jennifer for volunteering and hanging out with today. And uh, we will hear from her next week. Yeah, come back next week, Jennifer. Let us know. John, we'll see you next Saturday here on the Releasing Negative Emotion Show, 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 a.m. Eastern. We'll see you then. Yeah, absolutely. Have a great week, everyone.